Okay, inventory analysis example one. Okay, this figure shows a reactor with high temperature alarm and temperature controller. Okay, so you need to understand what is your diagram about. Okay, so in this diagram you have high temperature alarm. Okay, this is high temperature alarm system. Okay, and also temperature controller. This is part of your controller. Okay. You have your thermocouple, your alarm, your controller. Okay, TIC is for your controller. TIA is your alarm system. Okay, so you have uh, both of your temperature alarm and temperature controller. Okay, inside your your reactor. Okay, first, what is the first step to develop your inventory analysis? Okay, remember, you have to know what is your initiating events. Okay, what is the initiating events that you intend to do with your inventory analysis? Alright, so this is uh, the extraction from the description, okay, for this reactor system. Okay, a high temperature alarm has been installed to one the operator of a high temperature within the reactor so high temperature alarm okay this system have been installed to warn the operator of high temperature within this reactor okay so this temperature alarm system will work if there is high temperature event occurred in this reactor so maybe you have your initiating event other than this loss of coolant okay but for now for this example okay you have your initiating event is loss of coolant okay because loss of coolant will contribute to this high temperature event okay so this is just one cause okay for this high temperature event okay that's why we call it as an initiating event the one small event that contribute to this major event okay so loss of coolant could contribute to your high temperature within your reactor okay after you have your initiating event all right then you need to identify what is your safety function okay you need to identify what is your safety function all right so in your safety function, the first one that obvious to you is your high temperature alarm. Alright, this is the system, high temperature alarm. Okay. Then other than high temperature alarm, remember from your description, it tells you about the operator. Okay, so you have your inspection okay, by the operator. Okay, so the operator will notice the higher reactor temperature just looking at the readings or at the monitoring system. Okay, then you have the recovery or the correction if the high temperature is occurred. It usually have been done by the operator. Okay, so the operator try to re-establish the coolant flow just in time. Okay, after he notice the high reactor temperature. Okay, he try to recontrol it. Okay, he try to control the temperature by re-establish the coolant flow. Okay, because you have your loss of coolant, right? Okay, so he try to re-establish the coolant flow just in time. Okay, then the fourth temperature, uh, the first safety function is your emergency. Okay, when the operator invoke an emergency shutdown in your reactor. So basically, your safety function for the reactor inside the plant is emergency shutdown, high temperature alarm, uh, operator, okay, for noticing the high temperature, okay, maybe in your process monitoring, and then your operator re-establish the coolant flow. Is this is for control part, okay, for your operator okay in recovery or correction from previous fault okay 
So this is the four safety function for this particular reactor. Okay. So basically, you already have your initiating event and safety function. Then from this initiating event and safety function, you can develop the draft of your event tree analysis. Okay, we look. All right, this is the draft of your safety event tree analysis. Okay, just uh, focus on the first part. All right, just focus on your first part. Okay, your first part is your event. Okay, initiating event. What is your initiating event? Your, initi uh, your initiating event is loss of coolant. So you have uh, your initiating event is loss of cooling. Okay, just uh, ignore the occurrence rate and failure rate first. Okay, then what is your first safety function? Okay, your first safety function should be Okay, this is uh, the, the sequence of your safety function have to follow through all the sequence. Okay, from the first is your high temperature alarm alerts your operator. So, this is your, the first safety function, high temperature alarm. Okay, your first safety function, high temperature alarm. And then, the second safety function is your operator. Okay, this is your second safety function, your operator. So, did your operator notice your high temperature alarm or not? Okay, then the third one is your operator restart cooling. So, this is the recovery step. Okay, after the operator notice the high temperature, does he or she restart the cooling flow? Okay, so this is your third safety function. And the final safety function is your shutdown operation. Okay, emergency shutdown of your reactor. Okay, this is your third safety function. Alright, until this, okay, you have your initiating event, then you have your safety function. Okay. So, Inside your statement, okay, based on your statement or based on uh, based on your case study, then you put your frequency and your successful rate. All right, we change our highlighter. Okay, this is your second step. Okay, this second step is based on your case study. Okay, how about its frequency? Okay, occurring frequency. Is it occurred once a year, twice a year, or maybe once every 10 years? Okay, that event is based on your case study. Okay, this is your occurring frequency. Then you have your failure rate for each of your safety function. Okay, all depends on your case study or all depends on your case statement. Okay, so we identify this as a, a and then B, C, D, and E. Alright. So, you have your uh, according frequency, you have your failure, failure rate, then you can have your successful frequency and failure frequency. Okay, remember this is your the first successful and uh, failure frequency. Okay, based on your failure rate and then your occurring frequency. Then you can find your second successful and failure frequency based on your first frequency. Okay, based on your first frequency okay so based on this frequency you can find the uh, the remaining uh, successful and failure frequency
until you have your final frequency. Okay, this is all your final frequency for your successful and failure frequency of this event. Okay, now you will notice what is the remaining or what is the alphabet is about. Okay. In the next video, I will show you how we can identify all these consequence event. Okay, based on the alphabet that you put at the early stage of your inventory analysis.